Hola amigos, today's story is called Corsque Comes, a story about multiplication. Corsque, the pig, is having a birthday party. Each person brings a friend until there are 12 children in all. Corsque likes opening his presents. That what he really wants to do is play, but every game the kids try needs a different number of players, and they never have the right amount. Corsicru and his parrot friend Pirate know how to solve the problem. If only they can get the kids to understand. Enjoy the party, enjoy the party, and in this delightful companion to the wishing club. We have the little introduction. For Boots and Panther and all those birds love Donut Joe and Richard. On Course Crew's birthday, everybody came. Happy birthday, Course Crew! Two friends for Little Joe, two friends for P.T., and two friends each for the twins, Sally and Samantha. Come get your presents, Coach Crew, called Sally. Coach Crew ate the four children in his family and the eight extra kids. All twelves grin at him. It would be okay to go back inside, except for the scary parrot. Still, presents were presents, a dozen of them, and this was his first party ever. He didn't want to disappoint his guests. The kids helped Course Crew open the presents. Pooties? Pooties were for sissies. Every pig knew that. And who would he walk on the leash? This stuff looked like toys for cats and dogs. Didn't they know it was a pig? But at least the paper was good. He nibbled on the wrapping and ate a bowl. Do you like bows, Course Crew? Mine's pretty. Let's dress him up. The kids tied the rest of the bows on Course Crew. Then they look around. What now? Pity pull on Sally's arm. Yeah, this was your idea. What do we do at a pig's birthday party? What do you do at any party? Play dress up. No, play games, then eat. One kid picked a deck of cards off the coffee table. He shuffled, then spread them out for Solitar. The other gave him advice. Me too, said Joe. We all want to play. We all need cards. Everybody searched the living room. Wait a minute, said Samantha. If each person plays alone, we need twelve decks. And I don't no and I know we don't have that many. Cause one times twelve is twelve. They all went back to standing around the one kid who had the cards. Course crew wiggled through the ring and snuffled up a card. It wasn't as tasty as the ball. Squawk the parrot flapped his wings. Cards flew. Course crew shoot the cards off his back. Hey, maybe the bird wasn't such a bore. But course crew, bad pirate. 
now we don't even have one full deck. Solitor stinks anyway. How about games we can play with each other? You mean like pairs? Sure, there are 12 of us, so we have six pairs. Six is the half of 12. How about badminton? Two times six is 12. Let's go out to the garage. Two kids grab badminton rackets and birdies. Are they enough for all of us to play? Yeah. We've got exactly six pairs of rackets and six birdies. Of course, you picked up a racket, pirate cat, a birdie. Pretty nice work, thought course crew. That pirate might even be fun. Bad course crew. Bad pirate. Now, one racket slimy with a pig slaver and we're short a birdie. Going in pairs wasn't such a hard idea anyway because we're all different sizes. We've got three little kids, three medium kids, and six big kids. Let's play a game in four groups of three. Three times four, that makes twelve. And they are twelve. Look in this basket, jump ropes, and there are four of them. We can all take turns swinging and jumping. Horse crew got tangled in a rope. Pirate did loop the loops in another. Horse crew watched it with admiration. Bad horse crew, bad pirate. We can't keep jumping on horse crew and pirate will get her. Besides, the little kids can't swing or jump. Good. What else can we play? I want to play with my brother and sisters, said Penny. All right, let's find a game for four players. Then we can have three groups of four. Because four times three is twelve. There are three balls here. Any one for a game of four square. That kid forms squares and pounds the ball. Curse Crew stole a ball, lay on his back, and juggled it. Pirate dance on top. They were a good team, but Curse Crew, but Pirate. Do you know you think those animals were messing up our games on purpose? The kid's not so dumb. That course crew. Let's all play one big game together. There are 12 of us and we've already got a net up. We can make two teams of six. Two times six is 12. How about volleyball? That takes six, six on the side. The kids gather half, of in, half on each side of the net. What about us? In desperation, Kurt just ran across the yard and flung himself into the net. Pirate helped him get entangled. What's the matter with your with your pig? He keeps getting in the way. So does your bird. Here is a frisbee. Let's play ultimate. Frisbee. There is no way the animals can mess that up. But it takes seven for a team. So we would need four team for two teams and we only have twelve. We have thirteen if course crew counts. And he out to count. It's his birthday after all. And fourteen if fire counts. Course crew's on our team, said Sally. Can catch, but make make sure pirate can catch too. Hooray! Coast Cruise dance delir deliriously. Pirate squat his with glee. Seven times two makes four. So they will make two teams. I 
thing. That's what they wanted all along. Happy birthday, Curse Creek. And everyone's invited to my house next week for Pirate's birthday party. It is really Pirate's birthday next week? Mm, who knows, but I want another party. Pass this frisbee. Pass the frisbee. Cash Curse Crew. Good pirate, good curse crew. Alright, amigos. The end. Okay, amigos. Los veré en el siguiente video. See you in the next video. Chao, chao. Hasta pronto. Bye, bye.